Hi, welcome to NickBacchus.com. We are on Lesson 7, Developing Tone Quality from Percussion Guide for the Beginning Band Student. Lesson 7 is a reminder of four things you have already learned from previous lessons. The four things I want them to remember is to relax their hands, use only wrists, height of stick, and finally, let stick bounce. I am going to give you a saying to use to remember this. So if you're a band director watching, I do this every day, and it takes me a second to do. I'll say the beginning of a sentence and have the students respond. For instance, relax, the students say hand. Use only wrist. Height of stick and let stick bounce. So their response back to me tells me they're remembering this. And if one of those things are not working, something's going to happen in the percussion section. You'll feel the time's off. You'll feel like you're pounding. Percussionists, we're going to, I'm going to remind you about these basic techniques. And um, we're going to go over to saying once before you leave. Here we go. Relaxing hand. Remember, by holding the stick light, it creates maximum amount of vibration. So it gives you a nice warm sound. Only use wrists. Remember in the previous lesson we talked about we want to develop the forearm. We, at times, do I use arm? Yes. Do I use fingers? Yes. But what we want to do is we want to develop this forearm and get this coordinated and strong before we move on to you know adding different techniques to it. So only use wrists. Height of stick. We talked about how it's designed for dynamics. There's a relationship. So, for instance, two inches off the snare head, the sound is soft. Five inches or seven inches, the dynamic is loud. But I also talk how it's going to help you with your timing. So, for instance, if I have a simple rhythm, and I'm trying to match my value, and so I can keep an even tempo. If one of those two things are off, it's probably height of stick. And finally, to get that warm classical sound, is allow the stick to bounce off the drum head. Let it bounce. So let's do the sand one more time before we leave this lesson. Relax, hand. Only use wrist. Height of stick and let stick bounce. And one other question I have you answer is how do you know if it's a good tone? Well, it's very simple. Ask yourself this. Is the sound that you're playing pleasing to the ear? So I'll say it again. How do you know if you're playing with a good tone? Is the sound that you're playing pleasing to the ear? And this goes for all instruments. So if you're playing and it sounds like it's pounding, it's not pleasing to the ear. So it's one of those things we talked about. If you hear something wrong about the timing or the sound in the percussion section, just start reminding them of these four basic rules. Thank you again for joining me at NickBacchus.com. This is Lesson 7, Developing Tone Quality from Percussion Guide from the Beginning Band Student.